Some of the Muslim refugees from Burma have been in Malaysia for 20 years. Community activists believe that several thousand more have arrived here in the past year and a half, fleeing anti-Muslim violence in the state of Rakhine. Most of them are from the Rohingya ethnic group. But other Burmese Muslims who are not Rohingya say they too had no choice but to make the perilous sea journey to Malaysia. Rahima Nobusho says some of her relatives were killed when a mob burnt down her village. There was no way we could stay. The only way we could save our lives was to leave the country, to escape anywhere. We lost everything. The recent influx is draining the community's already limited resources. Muslim charities help out with food donations. And the United Nations Refugee Agency, UNHCR, provides various aid, as well as issuing the asylum seekers with cards identifying them as refugees. But Malaysia has not ratified the UN Convention on Refugees, leaving these people in a legal limbo. They are unable to send their children to state schools or work legally. Social activist Irene Fernandez says this makes them extremely vulnerable. They are deemed to be undocumented by all enforcement agencies. And even when they go and, and try and get a job, uh, they are going to be in a very exploitative situation because the employer knows that they cannot seek redress. The Malaysian government recently said it will consider issuing work permits to the refugees. Mohamed Sadek, a Rohingya community leader, says the move would be very welcome, but that the refugees would still need significant help from the UN. The UN agency should not stop its obligations, and the UN agency should continue its facilities to resettle them to other countries and to extend financial assistance, medical assistance, and other necessary initiatives for the welfare of refugees. Most of the refugees say they would be happy to settle here in Malaysia if the government would ever consider absorbing them into this mainly Muslim society. Mahi Ramakrishnan for VOA News, Kuala Lumpur.